The first one is principles. So it used to be that if a nonprofit was a principled organization and could take the moral high ground, if you will, that that was more important than having outcomes. It used to be the case that if nonprofits spoke on behalf of disadvantaged people or abused animals, for instance, or the environment, that that was okay and amplifying the voices directly of communities and of disadvantaged populations was uh, not necessary. It used to be the case that the technical expertise that staff uh, of nonprofits have, that that is a, an acceptable form of power and that other forms of knowledge, such as the lived experience or direct community local knowledge, was not as important. It used to be the case that if nonprofits showed financial propriety, so if they didn't engage in fraud, right, or abuse of money, if they minimized overhead, that that was more important than whether that the funds were actually used in an impactful way. It used to be the case that nonprofits could be charities, by which I mean simply an intermediary between donor money and recipients instead of those resources being channeled directly towards local organizations. It used to be the case that nonprofits were expected to show that they conform to the norms of do and expectations of donors and that they would mimic those who were considered to be successful instead of responding uh, to real needs. So on the left, you see those used to be the, the various foundations for legitimacy. On the right, these emerging uh, bases for legitimacy are that you now have to show that as a nonprofit that you can demonstrate you, have, you produce actual outcomes and that they are cost effective. So being principled is no longer enough. Now you have to show in your strategy that you're actually living up to the claim that many particularly international nonprofits make that they promote long-term societal transformation in which the root causes, for instance, for poverty are addressed and the structures underlying discrimination and poverty are addressed. Now your leadership can no longer just be um, about elite leadership, but it has to be community-based leadership. It has to be globally representative. It has to be diverse. And in the public campaigns of these nonprofits, the supporters need to be out in front and not the staff, the elite. Now, in terms of governance, NGOs and nonprofits need to not just be accountable to their donors and their uh, boards, but to a multitude of stakeholders. Now, they need to be transparent in proactively sharing information and also in participating, for instance, in the U uh, U.S. context in data transparency platforms like Charity Navigator or Giving Well, you may well use some of those. And finally, nonprofits now are expected to be responsive to feedback from their clients, for instance, and they need to be listening to communities and supporters. So you see, this is a fairly pr a profound shift in the foundations for what makes organizational legitimacy. And one could argue that maybe for the private sector and government, some of these shifts are equally happening.